715, welcome back to Daybreak. March is National Nutrition Month, and when it comes to good nutrition, we have all heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So joining us this morning with some quick, yeah. healthy breakfast ideas, making it easier for us to eat healthy, our fitness expert, Clint Howard. Thank you so much for yeah, coming in. Morning. So lots of excuses. People say they're not hungry, they're too busy. You've got mm -hmm. five suggestions, five things when you do your grocery shopping this weekend. Buy these, and you can even have a different breakfast every day of the week mm -hmm. then. Yeah, exactly. Most people, they're busy, so you need something quick and something balanced. So a lot of people we found either skip breakfast or if they eat something, it's just like a carbohydrate, a bagel, toast, you're not getting protein, it's not balanced. So I've got five quick things here, so we'll show. One of my personal favorites is uh, oatmeal, just plain oatmeal. Just that kind, not the yeah. kind in not the little the packets that has tons of sugar. Exactly. This is just plain oatmeal. It takes 30 seconds to heat up. And then I've got some almond butter here. Most people like peanut butter or, or natural almond butter. They even have it in packets. And I just heat this up. I mix in the, the peanut butter or almond butter in with it so it's very filling. You've got protein, why uh, healthy fats. Almond, why do you do almond butter instead well, of peanut butter? Well, this is, this is natural, and so it doesn't have any. It's just straight out of a, a machine. I get it at a health food store. But it, peanut almond butter is a little bit healthier than peanut butter overall, but you can get natural peanut butter as well. You don't so. want added sugar. Is that why you go for natural exactly. peanut butter? But regular peanut butter is not bad, but the natural is better. It doesn't have okay. high fructose corn syrup or added sugar. Okay, so that's one That's option. really good. That's one. Mix then it you, together. Exactly. Mix it together. It's, it's really good. Actually, people should try if they haven't tried that. Okay. So, um, then you've got yogurt. Now, Greek yogurt is actually a lot better than just plain yogurt. Greek yogurt has uh, more protein and less sugar than just like the You'd be you know, surprised. I know when you so, start reading labels, the yogurts, even the ones that market themselves as healthy, have as much sugar as like junk food. Exactly. Exactly. But Greek yogurt, and they have, you know, now they've come a long ways. They have flavored ones, so mm -hmm. you can get actually a flavored Greek yogurt tastes really well, or you can get plain and mixed with fruit. So you've got blueberries are good. I'll do strawberries, some type of berries. You're getting some vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. You're getting healthy fats, proteins okay. here. So that's really good, quick. Uh, if people want to spend a little more time and make something a little bit more filling or satiety, you can go with like a, a wrap, a breakfast wrap. I'll My do husband some, does this yeah, every you can, morning. You can do eggs, um, add cheese. I'll add sometimes some vegetables, some spinach. Uh, you can get tortillas, like high fiber tortillas. So look for so, high fiber on your tortilla and then I then, see this is the reduced fat, the kind of cheese that it's with the 2% milk. Exactly. So I don't go total fat free, but you can go low fat and you can add eggs. You get protein, you're getting fiber. That's complete there. Okay, another option um, here. Here you can, I don't have cottage cheese here, but you can do cottage cheese as a good protein or you can just do some nuts. I like almonds uh, and then a piece of fruit. You know, oranges, apples are good, any type of fruit there. Banana would be bad. Okay. And then last resort, if, if people, if you're not hungry at all and food just doesn't sound good, you can always go with like a meal replacement. So a protein shake, a protein uh, bar, some of this balance there and that's quick. You can carry it with you on the go. So. And ideally to be maximizing your metabolism, you need to eat about within 30 minutes of waking up. Exactly. Not so more than an hour. Try within 30 minutes and you want to drink some water too. You know, usually you wake up, you go to the rest Room, you want to drink some down some water that's going to help your metabolism as well as eating and then normally you would try to eat again about three hours so your breakfast should be fairly small but balanced and then eat a you know a mid-morning snack and then you're uh, ready for lunch after that mm -hmm. so and the problem with just having coffee for breakfast is that crash exactly that may curb your appetite but then you crash then you're hungry and there's a lot of studies that show people that skip breakfast are more likely to overeat during the day. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for these five suggestions. Mm. If you would like to see them again, because we moved through them pretty quickly, here they are oatmeal with natural peanut butter or almond butter, plain Greek yogurt and fruit, egg and cheese wrap, or a breakfast burrito. Just make sure you're getting the whole wheat tortillas or the whole grain tortillas and the 2% cheese, cottage cheese and fruit, and meal replacements like a protein shake or bar. And we put all of these ideas on our website in case you want to see them again. Just go to fox23.com, click on the Fox box, and search Tulsa Fitness Systems.